Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is a user role and a group in PostgreSQL. So the agenda of this, uh, this tutorial is uh, what is a user or a role in Postgre? What is public schema? What is a search path? And how do we revoke uh, public from a role? How do we create a read-only role or read-write role? And how do we create a role? And then we, how do we grant privileges to the user which has created? Uh, the first one is the users and role. So what is a user and role in Postgre? When, when, when we say create user in, uh, in Postgre, that means it is equivalent to create role plus login per permission. That means the only difference between user and the role is user is able to log in, but the role will not be able to log in. Yeah, and the role has its own advantage. So if I, uh, if I say a SQL statement to create the Postgre SQL user, so I'll just say create user, username, then uh, uh, with password and I'll, I'll give the password. If I have to create the same user with the create role SQL statement, I'll say create role, uh, role name, and the only additional thing which I have to add is with login. And then we need to give the password and that's it. So in Postgre, create user is equal to create role plus login permissions. So by default, all the new users and roles, they inherit the permission from the public role. And we'll see how it plays an important role. So what is a public schema and public role? So whenever you create a new database, let's say you created a new database, uh, 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 DB1, then by default, uh, when, you, when you check the uh, schemas which are available in that particular database, so you will see a schema with the name public. That means a user who has access to this particular database will be able to select or create the objects in that particular schema. So uh, it is by default, uh, the design is like that. So all the new users and roles, they have the default access to the public role and they can uh, create the objects in the public schema, which is not good. Then what is a search path? If I'm connected to a database, let's say, which is called as DVD rental. And if I say select a star from actor, actor is one of the table. And if I don't give the fully qualified name, then how Postgre will come to know like from which schema it has to pick the information. So that information is mentioned in something which is called as a parameter search path. If you log into Postgre prompt and say search path, show search path, it will show you two values. One is dollar user, another is public. Let's say if I'm connected to Postgre uh, user on, on Postgre server, then by default, uh, when you fire any query, it will search for a schema, which is equivalent to the name of the user, which is logged in, let's say. Uh, then it will look for that particular user. So by default, a schema with the same name will not be present. What is present is a public schema. So any user who is connected to that particular database will be able to see the objects or create the objects in the public schema. So uh, as I mentioned, a DVD rental database, if I am just saying select a star from actor, then it will search and I'm log logged in through the Postgre. So it will use, uh, it will try to look for the schema, which is equivalent to the database uh, username, which is not the case. So it will look the information in public schema. So instead of saying select a star from public dot, uh, uh, dot actor, I'll simply say select a star from actor. So it is going to search from the public. If you have a schema with the name, let's say a Postgre and your object is lying over there, then it will look into that and it will display the result. This value can be changed. Uh, you can uh, change the schema name so that by default it will look into this. So that's the importance of the search path. And it plays a very important role. 
what you should do uh, about uh, the public uh, uh, schema you should revoke uh, any creation of object uh, onto the public schema because if n number of users are using that particular database and uh, then it, it may be a messy task so you should remove uh, the create on schema public from the public and uh, you should also revoke all on database from public so that anybody cannot uh, use that particular one how do we create a role uh, create role is it's very simple it's you say create role a uh, role name and uh, to that particular role what you can do is let's say i have an application i wanted to create a read only uh, a role for uh, some of the tables so I can create the role then I can say grant connect on that particular database so my database in this case is DVD rental then I can uh, give access to this particular role and uh, that particular role can use the app schema if I have created a, a schema with the name so you can do a lot of things uh, with the role and finally this role can be granted to the application user or the user which you have created also what we can do is we can grant uh, any kind of let's say select insert update delete whatever you wanted to do but but as the name suggests it is a read only schema so i'm just going to give a uh, select on all the tables or a table like actor or film to to that particular uh, uh, role or what also you can do is you can give all table access on that particular schema to that particular role so so you created a blank role you gave it connect access to the particular database then you you said like you use particular schema then you gave select access on a number of tables and uh, this way it is very very useful you so you create a role and then how do we create a database user so you simply say create user uh, username uh, then with password and password name and finally you can grant the role to the user so any user who is joining that application so any user in that application group you can grant uh, the role so it is very convenient so any changes which is happening to the app underscore read only will be applicable to all the users they will be impacted any table which is added or removed the impact will be on the role and the role is finally uh, granted to the user and now there is a demo which is uh, following up so this is the demo so um, so let me close this presentation and uh, this is the demo i have listed all the steps in the uh, notepad and uh, we'll perform this either on uh, on the so i'm connected through mobile xrom on my server which is uh, on a linux server 192.168.1.61 and i'm connected through the postgre user which is having the pseudo access on this so what i'm going to do is so what we saw earlier is um, we are going to create a, a user and uh, we'll see how it is different from the role so we say create user is equal to create role plus the uh, login permission so i'm just going to create a user let's name it as create user app user one with password which is equal to the password not a good practice but this is a demo so we are using this Uh, this is the wrong password the role is created you can see uh, uh, the user is created app user so where is the app user one so this is the app user one and there is uh, no attributes cannot log in that means it is able to log in and that is the only difference between user and the role roles cannot connect to the uh, uh, it's not able to log in but uh, 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 a user is able to do that if i create a role let's say app user role one and 
uh, if I say with login, then it is equivalent to the create user statement. So that is what we discussed in the first slide. Create user is it's already existing. So let's create another one. App role two. So if I say slash do, you will be able to see app role two, uh, and it is able to log in. Next one is what is a public schema and public role? They just to showcase this, I'll log into the PG admin GUI tool and um, I'll connect to my database, which is on Linux environment. And I'll connect to the database, which is DVD rental. So here we go with the DVD rental. And uh, what happens? Let me delete the role which I have uh, created. Okay, so I have uh, a database with the name DVD rental, and uh, when we I created it, it was a blank database. So whenever you create a database, you get a, a schema which is which is. Uh, called as the name public that means any user who is having the access on this particular uh, database will be able to use public schema uh, that means any any object which is created will go into this let's say if i say uh, i'm connected through the postgre user in in dvd rental database and uh, if i say create table a so that table will be created in in public uh, uh, schema so that's that's the uh, way if you wanted to use a specific schema for the particular user you need to create using uh, uh, the create schema command so we'll see uh, right away how to use that search path so uh, i'm connected as postgre user and uh, let's see how many databases we have let's go to dvd rental and I'm switched on to the DVD rental database. If I say, uh, let me see the data uh, tables we, we have. We have actor table and it is there in the public schema. If I say select star from actor or select count star from actor, I don't want to display uh, the entire details onto the screen. I'll be able to get the details, but how uh, Postgre is knowing, how the server is knowing from which schema it has to pick it up. So I'm connected to the DVD rental database and there is only one schema, which is public schema. And there is something called a search path. If I say show search path, I'll be able to see uh, two things. One is dollar user and another is public. So by default, if a user is connected, let's say my username is app user, then it will look for the schema whose name is, uh, is equivalent to the user which is connected. If that is not present, it will look for the object in the public schema. So either I say uh, select uh, count star from actor or I, if I give fully qualified name, which is uh, a schema name dot uh, uh, dot uh, uh, the table name, it will display the same item. So if I just wanted to omit using the uh, the schema name I need to mention the uh, the value in search path and that that can be uh, set All right uh, What we will do is we will do a small demo we will uh, as a best practice uh, We will revoke uh, privileges from the public role. So let's do that So we'll say revoke create on a schema public from public and revoke all on database uh, DVD rental from just in this uh, demo what we are doing is we are using DVD rental as the database I'll go to the PG admin and uh, and we will do it over there so uh, let me connect to DVD rental uh, then I say query tool so it will uh, open a query editor 
and uh, we will execute all the statements from there. All right. So what I'm saying is uh, we will revoke created. So by default, nobody will be able to use that schema. And uh, on all the database, uh, DVD rental, so that will also be revoked. So just execute this, either F5 or execute. Both will work. OK. So this is done. Now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create a role, which is app read only then uh, create role, role name, then we are going to say uh, uh, it is going to connect to the database DVD rental, then we are going to create uh, a schema, app schema, then we are saying just use that particular schema, and uh, then we are going to select all tables in that particular schema, and uh, that will be granted to that particular role. Uh, let us create this particular role. We use the command prompt or the GUI tool, but it is good to watch it over here. So create role, then connect privilege, then create a schema, then grant usage on the schema, and then all the tables in that particular schema will be given the select access to that particular role. And that's it. Role already exists, so let me drop the role. So let's drop it and uh, then we'll execute it. Okay, so there are, let, let me change it instead of, uh, so we'll say, uh, we'll create a new role, which is uh, app uh, read and only underscore one. We'll say replace all, and we are going to use this. And we are using uh, PG admin four. I'm just clearing the screen, and we are creating a new role. It's very, very easy. There is nothing tricky in this. So uh, uh, this it is displaying the last uh, message. So this is completed. Now we are going to create a read-write rule. Here what we are saying is uh, in read-only role, we, we gave uh, only the select access. Here what we are going to say, we are going to give insert update read on all the, uh, all the tables in that particular schema. So let's create role read write. Let me see if that role is uh, available or it is not. Okay. So read write. Okay, it is not. So let's execute this. So we are going to create a role read write. Then it is giving the connect access on DVD rental. Then we are going to use the we are going to create a schema app schema which has already created, and uh, you can use the name according to your requirement. And we'll execute all this statement. Read write already exists. So let me create instead of read write. Uh, we'll say. Uh, app underscore read write one. Let's create the role. It's it's very very easy. It is it is done. The next one is we'll, we'll create a user which is called as app reporting user one. We'll give some password, then we will create another user app reporting two. Then, um, then what we are going to do is we are going to 
uh, grant the privileges. So this, this we have seen earlier also. There is nothing special. It is just uh, the user and the role. The only difference is they have uh, login access. This is done. And finally, the roles which we have created can be assigned to the user. So, so we had app read only and uh, we have app read write one. So let's grant all this. So this object level uh, things are very useful when you uh, when you work for the uh, the application team and you have to grant some kind of uh, access on the tables or a schema to to the roles and that role has to be assigned to the to the user. So just to recap what we have done, we have seen what is a user. User is nothing, just a create role plus login permission. Then we saw what is public schema. Public schema is something which is uh, available by default in our database, which is newly created. And uh, the user has uh, uh, the, uh, the access on that, which is connected to that particular database. And then they can create the objects into that. That is not a good practice to have that in place, but it is by de design. So you should remove the access over there then we saw something as search path. If you say uh, show search path, it will show you two value dollar user comma public. That means a user which is connected to a particular database by default. It will look into the schema with the same name as the user connected. If that is not available, it will search for the objects or it will create the objects which is there in the public schema. So instead of saying select a star from table, uh, or uh, instead of giving the full fully qualified name, select a star from schema.table, you simply say select a star from table, then it will check this uh, uh, this criteria. And uh, if it is validated, it will uh, display the results. Then we saw how to create the user. Then we, uh, we created a role, read-only role. Then we created a read-write role. And then we created two users. And then we assigned uh, the, uh, the roles to the user. I hope this is going to work. And uh, thanks for watching.